So I've been making friends lately. Uh, you know, the move and all. I've been trying to make some friends as much as possible. I look fat. Um, anyway. So we've been trying to make some friends. Well, I have. So uh, I tried my space, but everybody in Virginia, the area we're moving in anyway. God, I do look fat. I look like a fat titty. Anyway. Uh, we are all, uh, they all have locked their MySpaces. So I try to do D-List. D-List.com is like MySpace for gay people, where they, if they choose to, can, um, post naked pictures. Uh, and then I tried MySpace. Well, I already said that, but, you know, like, there's no one there. So I went on to gay.com. I haven't been on gay.com for two years for a reason, apparently. There's a lot of weird people there. Um, I'm not going to mention any screen names or anything because whatever. But I made some good friends. Um, I want to show a picture of one of my good friends that I've made. Well, a couple. I don't know if they want me to do that. But, well, you don't really have a freaking choice. And you probably don't watch this anyway, so you can go screw yourself. Uh, made a really good friend in Brian. Brian is one of the best people I've ever talked to. And he even got me on the phone the other night, which was like amazing that he got me on the phone because I hate the phone. We were on the phone for two hours too. And I really love talking to him. And he's a really nice guy. He's my age. He's 26. He's adorable, as you can see. Totally adorable. There is no way that I would ever, you know, at all ever want to see him with his clothes off. No, I would never want to see that, because that's just wrong. Never mind. We love to. But whatever. Um, so, there's him. And then there's another guy I talk to on a regular basis, uh, Judd. He's great. Uh, he's also great. And, and there's Edwin. And there's some others. I've made two other friends. And, like, it seems like two of them are drag queens. Not the ones I just showed you, but two others. But there's a lot of freaks. I have a picture of Christian and I laying next to each other. That's the picture. Of Christian and I laying next to each other. And I had to put a caption, I'm on the left. Because when I didn't have a caption telling them where I was, people would go, oh, which one are you? And I'm like, I'm the one on the left. And they'd be like, oh, I like the one the glasses buy. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know what I did differently there, but okay. Because I'm not stupid to realize that maybe, perhaps, excuse me, people may think that Christian's the better looking one in the relationship. I'm perfectly fine with that, to be honest with you. I don't need that. I, I don't care. Christian thinks I'm good looking, so that's all it really matters to me. It's just rude. Anyway, and so, but otherwise, all I get is requests. Hey, are you two looking? And I'm like, no, I'm not really looking. Unless it's with Brian. And he's like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay, well, um, bye. I mean, everybody. And these people are so weird. I can't tell you. I forgot how freaky gay.com was because the people are all freaks. I think they're all antisocial. There's many types you get. You get the antisocial person who never leaves their house. You get the constantly horny person who wants to screw everything on earth even though he says he's looking for friendship. And you get the perpetual liar who just lies about everything. And then you get the freaking person who is like the biggest bitch on earth and you're like, why the hell are you in here if you're just going to be mean to everybody and think you're better than everybody? You're on the freaking internet talking to people through zeros and ones and you think you're better than me because you're sitting at home in your computer at home. Not out with a boyfriend, not out on a date, not in an orgy, not being praised by the people of some faraway village because you're their, you're their god, but at home in front of your computer, and you're better than me. That makes a whole lot of sense. But whatever. I made these friends, and that's what matters to me. I'm really excited to meet all of them. Why is it every time I start doing one of these things, I yawn? So anyway, I had a friend last night talk to me, and it's really funny. His name is Chris. And before I met Christian, I wanted to date Chris. Problem was, okay, this is going to make me look bad. This is going to make me look like a homewrecker. 
problem was is that Chris was dating somebody at the time when I met him. They had just gotten back together. They broke up briefly. They did one of those things. We're going to break up, and then they got back together. And he was like my type exactly, and we were flirting all friggin' night. And when it got time that something was about to happen, he finally said, I can't do that because I'm seeing somebody. I said, okay. I was stupid and bitchy and slutty enough to keep trying anyway. I don't know why, because he really had feelings for me. I had feelings for him. His relationship was not good at all. Like, not that it was, like, awful, like, beating. The guy's nice. The guy was nice. They just were not for each other. He, um, I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. They just were not... He, he was not happy. Chris was just not happy, and I could tell that. And I felt I could make him happy. Well, truth is, I went out with him on his birthday with a couple of his friends, and his friends were all, like, all about me. They are all about me. And they're telling him, you know, you should leave Mike for him. You should leave Michael for him. He's really nice. He's really funny. He's really cute, you know. He, uh, because I think I look cute right now now. I know I was complaining about how fat this is. From up here, I think I look cute. From down below... Liposuction could help. Or actual exercise. You know, actually moving. Anyway, so at the end of the night, I like, I, I didn't have a job during the time. I, silly enough, silly, silly, silly enough, wrote him, he liked Charmed. I made him a mix CD. And then I, after I made the mix CD, I kind of like wrote this like, he like charmed I wrote this charm spell in it about being happy and so forth that he could always find happiness in me and at the end of the night after some drinking there was beer involved at the restaurant and then at bowling uh we kind of um kissed it wasn't like a it wasn't french kiss it was just a kiss on the lips and then i never talked to him again I realized from that point on it probably was not a good idea because I didn't want to be the homewrecker. I didn't want to be the person to do something wrong. So we were talking last night online because he and me and told me he wanted to see me before I left. I said, that's cool because I haven't seen him in a while. And, um, oh, update. Here. Two weeks later, after that day, he broke up with his boyfriend saying he just was happier by himself because the boyfriend was always gone and never... They just did not make each other happy, and the boyfriend agreed, and they're still friends. Two weeks later, but I was with Christian, I think, two weeks later. I had deja vu about this moment the other day, but I was with Christian two weeks later by that time. I do have deja vu about this moment. I swear to God, I saw this yesterday. Anyway, um, he tried to call me, and I didn't call him back. So anyway, sorry, I was interrupted. So he tried to call me, I didn't call him back. And, um, I really didn't talk to him for, like, a year. Um, a friend, a mutual friend of ours told him he was single. I was with Christian. And he basically found out that, you know, I was married. And he was really disappointed because, you know... Anyway, so we were talking last night. And he said to me, I wanted to thank you. I owe you so much for my life and I said I don't know why because this was like a moment like I was down about like how people don't listen to my advice or anything and he said because you actually helped me realize I was not happy in my relationship and I left Michael because of you because you you treated me so nicely in those few moments that we basically knew each other basically not like I'm kind of paraphrasing because it's not exactly what he said but you know paraphrasing because he watches these so I don't want to <laughs> quote him when I didn't really quote him but he, I mean he's not quoted Basically, he said that I showed him how happy he could be and not to be stuck in where he's not happy. So that's why I left him. And um, so I'm going to go out to dinner with him um, soon, um, Sunday, because he wants to see me before I go. And I told him he could visit. And yeah. So, but things turn out for the best. And he'll be happy because he's a really great guy. And that's it. So, yay for friends.